In its 4.5 billion year existence, Earth has been punched and gouged by hundreds of large asteroids that have slammed into its surface. At least 190 of these collisions opens in new tab have left colossal scars that are still visible today. But not every space rock that zips into our planet's atmosphere makes it to the ground. The space rock's super high speeds heat up the gases in the atmosphere, which burn away the space rock which technically becomes a meteor once it meets the atmosphere as it passes through. In most cases, any space rock remnant that makes it through the atmosphere will cause little or no damage if it reaches the ground. For example, a 56-foot-wide meteor exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, in 2013, creating a shock wave that broke windows and caused injuries. However, it did not make a crater, because the meteor didn't really touch down. The largest impact crater on Earth, the Vredefort Crater in South Africa, is 99 miles 160 kilometers wide and was likely created about 2 billion years ago, according to NASA's Earth Observatory opens in new tab. The crater has largely eroded, but based on what's left of the rim, scientists have estimated that the asteroid that hit there was 6 to 9 miles 10 to 15 kilometers in diameter. It's bigger than the one that killed the dinosaurs, but long before dinosaurs. For context, it is expected that if an object is bigger than 1 kilometer 0.6 miles, it could have global effects, Drolshagen told Live Science. So the asteroid that made the Vredefort crater was a catastrophic blow likely equal to the one that killed the dinosaurs. The impact would likely have caused fires all around the world, and a tremendous amount of dust would have been thrown up into the atmosphere, changing the climate for months to years, he said. Second largest creator. The Chicxulub crater on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula is similar in size, at 112 miles 180 kilometers wide, but much younger, NASA's Earth Observatory opens in new tab. It was created by a 7.5-mile-wide asteroid that hit Earth 66 million years ago. Though the crater is now partially on land, at the time of impact the Yucatan was under a shallow sea. The collision led to the extinction of 75% of species opens in new tap, including the Nonavian dinosaurs. The impact also would have created a dust cloud that enveloped Earth for years, blocking sunlight and disrupting the food chain. The Nonavian dinosaurs that did survive the initial impact likely starved. Third largest creator. The Sudbury Basin in Ontario, Canada, ranks third in size and, like Vredefort, is one of the oldest known impact craters on Earth. A 2014 study in the journal Terra Nova opens in new tab suggested that perhaps it wasn't an asteroid that made the basin but rather a giant comet, or a rocky mix of asteroid bits and ice. Somewhere between 6 and 9 miles in diameter, the space object struck Earth around 1.8 billion years ago. Now, due to erosion, the crater is almost unrecognizable. But there is a flourishing nickel and iron mining industry there. What they are really mining is leftover asteroids.